So Indiana gets the win over Washington 31-17, which gives Indiana an 8-0 start. An 8 no st- I'm going to say it again. 8 no Undefeated through eight games at Indiana football. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. D'Angelo Pons was awesome today with two picks. One, a pick six. That kind of carried the day. Once that happened, Indiana was going to be really, really hard to stop. You've got a running game that was good today. Justice Ellison was busy, busy, busy. Indiana ran for almost 200 yards. Now our attention turns to Ohio State and Nebraska. Nebraska with a fourth quarter lead over Ohio State. This would be Ohio State's second loss of the season, which would mean that Indiana could go to Columbus, lose, and still go to the Big Ten championship game and likely to the uh, college football playoff. That's just, it's unfathomable that we're watching Ohio State, Nebraska with great interest because it affects Indiana's position in the college football playoff and potentially opens the door wide open for them to go to Indianapolis right here and play in the Big Ten Championship. These are heady times for Indiana University football, and Kurt Signetti is the toast of the state. How about this? Indiana is playing a basketball scrimmage right now, and, and I'm at a bar watching a game watching a football game, but nobody's talking about Indiana uh, basketball. They are speaking incorrectly about Indiana football, but at least they're talking about Indiana football. There's a lot of conversation in there where they're saying, oh yeah, Curtis Rourke, he played in Ohio State, and you know, uh, they, this coach came from George Mason. The, the level of discourse regarding Indiana football could not be lower at Wolfie's at Geist However, it's still, it's joyous to hear people talk about Indiana University football and the possibility that they could go and should go to the college football playoff. Also, what's kind of interesting about the Nebraska-Ohio State game is it really validates the Indiana trouncing of Nebraska last week, 56-7. to That was no fluke, baby. This is a really, really good football team that beat a good football team last week. And this week, they got over on another one against Washington. 8-0. Let's go, baby. Go Hoosiers.